Hi everyone, thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Today I've created a very simple smoky eyed look. You can dress it up and you can dress it down. If you like what you see, continue to watch. Don't forget to like the link below and also subscribe. We'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks. Okay, let's get started. For the sake of time, I already filled in my eyebrows with Dip Brow Pomade Dark Brown and from Anastasia Beverly Hills. My foundation is Studio Fix Fluid. My color is NC30, and I'm going to apply that with my MAC brush 187. I, I like to work in circular motions, do what works best for you. I focus around my red areas, especially around my nose, and I apply that through my neck, my ears, and just buff away until you feel like you have had a seamless, flawless foundation look. Okay, time for highlighting. I'm using MAC Pro Longwear in the color NW20, and I'm going to ahead and apply that under my eyes in little triangle shapes. Also, I'm going to apply that onto the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my forehead, on my cupid's bow, and my chin. So highlighting is just going to brighten up these areas and open up your face. Okay, so I'm going to use my Beauty Blender. I just picked this one up from Walgreens. I usually dampen it a little bit and squeeze out the most of the moisture. And from there, we're just gonna go ahead and dab away. Just blend, blend, blend. The more you do it, the more seamless and flawless this look will be. At first, it'll look kind of weird, but don't worry, it'll all come together once we start setting our highlight. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and set our highlight with our contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. We're gonna go in with the banana powder, and I'm using my Sigma brush. F64 and I'm just going to lightly place that on all the areas that we highlighted with our MAC Pro Longwear. So just be gentle with this, you don't want to be smudging, just lightly dab. You don't need too much of this product, it goes it goes um, pretty far. So from there we're going to go ahead and set our foundation that we used and I'm going to use my MAC NC30 powder and I'm also going to apply that with my MAC brush and that is my 150. Okay, so for our contouring, I'm going to use our Mineralized MAC, and this is um, Give Me Sun, and I'm also going to apply that with a MAC brush, and this brush is 166. So you're going to find the hollows of your cheekbone, and you're going to go ahead and apply your contour. I like to apply the contour away from my face, and then we're going to go ahead and buff that to our temples and into our forehead. Just keep buffing away so we can get rid of any harsh lines and it can look more um, natural. Okay, so now we're going to go in with our blush. I'm using MAC Warm Soul and I'm going to apply that with my MAC 116 brush. And for my highlight, I'm using Soft and Gentle and I'm going to apply that with my MAC 159 brush. And I'm just going to apply that gently onto the, my cheekbone, a little bit to my nose, and my cupid's bow. Okay, so now we're going to prime our eyelids, and I'm using Painterly by MAC, and I'm using my Sigma, Sigma brush P88. And you're just going to evenly apply that from your brow bone down to your eyelid. Okay, and then we're going to be using our Too Faced Chocolate Palette, and I'm going in with white chocolate, and I'm going to apply that to my brow bone and extend it all the way down to my eyelid. We're also going to go ahead and do our transition color, and I'm going to use my brush 286 from MAC. From there, we're going to go with Cherry, which is the deep violet purple in the palette, and I'm going to pack that on from onto the eyelid and bring that cherry color down to the um, bottom eyelash line. I'm just going to pack that down there and blend away just to create that whole smoky eye look. So we're going to go in with our black track by MAC and I use my angle brush MAC 263 and I'm going to go ahead and put my liner on the top lash line 
I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. Also, we're going to bring it down to the lower lash line in the outer corner, halfway into our eye. I'm just going to smudge that to stay consistent with our smoky look. I'm going to use the same palette, Champagne Truffle, and we're just going to add that to our brow bone and to the inner corner of our eyes just to add a little bit of a pop. Grab your favorite lashes and to make them pop, add a little mascara. Thanks again for watching and hope you enjoyed this tutorial.